All right, now that we're in our potion testing world, which is pretty much a world that I use to showcase anything that has to do with the updates, although it is outdated in itself, but regardless, it's still a useful little world that I could use. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take a look at the horses and mules and donkeys and as well as the witches and the bats because the withers and the wither skeletons cannot be found in the egg form. So I'm going to have to go into an adventure mode or a survival world and actually look for them myself from there. But until then, I've already tamed a horse because I needed to know how to actually work all these things so that I don't look like a fool. If I'm always going to be looking like a fool within the next videos, it's just, it's all a learning experience for me and it's all a learning experience from other people who have never played Minecraft. So the horses will actually spawn in the plains, which is an open field, of course. And what you need to do to tame them is to actually ride them. Just, you gotta ride them. That's all it takes. But they're gonna actually try to throw you off. So, you're gonna have to keep doing this until they're actually tamed. So, there you go. This, this horse does not want to be tamed. It's gonna take a while. It's just gonna take a while, but just as long as you just keep riding the horse, it's gonna be tamed. You saw that there was three hearts, or sorry, all the red hearts that popped out, so you're good to go. All you have to do is dismount it, and then put a saddle onto it. Well, first, you gotta actually open up the inventory. So from there, you get to see the inventory. It's kind of cool how you could actually control the horse from here too. So what you could do is that you could actually equip the saddle and then from there, you could actually mount the horse and then you could just ride off into the distance. You could ride the horse wherever you want to go and you could jump. Hey, look at that. If you time it just right, there you go. That's what the bar is for. They didn't actually explain the bar really. Oh yeah, I forgot I skipped it like an idiot. Okay, so all you have to do is just hold A and then let go at the right time so that you could actually get a low jump or a high jump. So there you go. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. Look at that. Just press A and hold it to do whatever you want to do. So this is actually a great way to travel. I wonder if they will actually spawn in Operation Bedrock or Operation Dome because I would like to get some horses from there too. So we got that going. So, oh, dismount. You have to use the right stick to dismount. So there you go. And from there, you could actually give them armor as well, so that if there's any mobs attacking you, at least the armor will actually help them out. I'm just trying to remember where the armor is. Oh, of course, it would be under armor. So you could give them diamond horse armor, or you could give them lead, which is actually just leashing onto them, and then you could just make them move wherever you want to go. They will follow you. You could do this on the mobs, and you could just attach it to a fence so that they will not go anywhere else. So come on. Come on, buddy. We're going to put you right over here. There you go. And then you just release it. That's all you have to do. So you have to put onto the mob and then put on the post and they will not leave that spot. Okay, so let me go ahead and open up the menu. Give you some armor. Now, there you go. That actually looks pretty cool on you. So let me go release you. And then there you go. So it's a little bit healthier and it will not die rather quickly. But I'm not going to hit the horse because that'd be too evil. Hey, the horse is actually looking down too. And you're smiling. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so it's already getting to nighttime, which is actually perfect opportunity to actually show the bats and the witches. So if I were to dismount, it's, it's, it kind of gets a while to get used to because I'm always used to the LT to dismount. Okay, don't, hey, hey, come on, come on, come over here, come over here, there, hey, come on. There you go. You can even do this to the wolves. Okay. Follow me. Wait, how many can I actually grab at once? I'm also going to explain more about the leashes and all that other stuff in the other updates, but it's fine. So you could actually do three. That's pretty cool. Sit, sit, sit. There you go. Now, to the bats. You got some bats right here. Bats will be found in caverns and enclosed spaces. I wonder if they'll actually pop out of the chest. Nope. I guess not. They will not pop out of the chest. Sometimes they will, sometimes they won't, but this one, they won't. But the bats are pretty cool to look at night. It gives a little bit of more ambience. It gives a more atmosphere to a cave if you were to explore a cave that you've never been there before. And it's just going to pop these little guys out and then they'll just fly away. So we have, of course, the witches. These enemies can be found in swamps. They attack by they attack you by throwing potions, and they also drop potions when they are killed. So these are pretty cool. They're just like you know villagers, but with warts and a moving nose. 
So they'll just throw potions at you, and then you're going to have to kill them, and then they'll draw potions. So there's not really much to show on that point. Just, you guys could roam around. Do you actually live in the daytime? I want to know if you're burning in the daytime, or if you're just like any other aggressive mob, like a creeper, you won't burn in the daytime. Nope, they won't burn in the daytime. And the bats, they're still going to remain here. So a thing about the donkeys, and as well as the mules, they will be... They will actually be the things, or the animals that will actually be used for actually carrying items. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to do, witch? What are you trying to do? Nothing? Okay. So are these actually, are they supposed to be that small? I don't know. Let me see. I guess? Okay, there we go. That's better. So it's going to be random. Do I have to tame you as well? Yes, I do. I got to tame you guys. Wonder if we could. Oh nope! Come on, you could actually create mules by breeding donkeys and horses. But the thing is, is that with a mule, they will be infertile, which means that they cannot be bred. So you cannot breed mule with another mule. Come on, donkey! Come on, donkey! Come on, donkey! Stop it! There we go. Okay. Okay. So dismount and. Let me put a chest, or sorry, a saddle, and then a chest, so I can at least get some saddle bags. Now, let me go ahead and put it onto a chest. Equip. Okay, saddle. Wait, this won't work. I'm still learning the ropes, people. Hey, I didn't want to tame you. Attach. There you go. It's just, you had to actually aim it correctly onto the saddle so that you could attach it. And then, oh, didn't mean to do that. Just go on to, excuse me, excuse me, there you go. And let me see if I could actually know how to actually open this. It says you can actually open it while you're in there, but I guess I can't. Maybe because I'm on creative mode, so that's going to be a little bit of a difficult right there. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. I'm still learning the ropes. Can I open the chest from here? No, I cannot. Well, we'll learn as we go along, but if you guys want to give me any tips and tricks in the comment section below, you may do that as well. So, at least I got some saddlebags right here. If anything else, I'll go on to survival and try to kill the witches myself. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm already on I'm already on the survival and they're already attacking me. Oh, poor little donkey. You don't deserve this. Run! Okay, stop throwing potions already. Okay, you can actually get to see them equip the potions. They are not, they're not a group to be reckoned with. Oh, even the wolves will actually attack the, they'll attack the witches. So this will actually be entertaining. Kill them, kill them, kill them wolfies. And they drop glowstone on that one, but there's another one that's trying to kill me. Die, die already, die already, this is going to be bad. Oh, oh, release the wolves, release the wolves, attack. Defend me wolves. And I may die, I'm going to die. I am totally gonna die. Oh, I dodged that one. Whew. Do not mess with witches. Do not mess with witches, because they are very bad news, and I am totally gonna die right now. No? Am I? I'm just waiting. Okay. Whew, that was close. Slimes, go away. Go away, slimes. Go away, slimes. Go away, slimes. They even added more sound effects to the slimes. Hey, the, even the wolves attacked the slimes. That's pretty cool. I never knew that. Okay. Now, let's see if I can actually get to the chest. Poor little donkey. You didn't deserve that. So, I... Okay. So, all I have to do is just press Y, and then you can access the inventory from here. That's simple. could put all my stuff in here, and then we're good to go. So, that is it for now. We're, I'm just learning as I go along. Apologies if I'm an idiot. But, next video, let's see what else can I show. Maybe I'll show all the brand new items that we got within this update. And then the other video, I'm going to try to find all the wither skeletons and the wither. Just, let's see how well that goes. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to fail epically at that. But, hey, all learning experience for everybody. So, until then, have a great day, everyone. I'm SirKing090. And, as always, I will see you in the next video.